So Kathy, a new week here, another road trip, but what has this week been like for you with the 500 wins and what has that felt like for you now that you're back home? here at Michigan State. Well, you've been asking me a lot about that, and, and obviously I really wasn't paying much attention to it, but, uh, you know, it wasn't until after the game that I, I, I really, it hit me, you know, and a lot of people were saying things to me, but I really didn't want to look, listen to that at all. I wanted to make sure that we did what we needed to do on the court, that we were, you know, at Iowa, taking care of our business, doing what we needed to do. But it was right after when Amy's whole entourage um, that was there, you know, pulled out these, these signs and made it really special and it kind of, it just hit me. And I didn't realize that it would hit me like that, but it did. And uh, you know, you just kind of reflect on a lot of a lot of great memories, a lot of great times, and and yes, how old you are. <laughs> Kathy's a great coach, and I love her to death. And to be able to get that with her, um, that's just another milestone in her career and our team's career. Like how we're gonna improve like throughout the season, and it says something about our chemistry too, and how bad we do want to win. Your team has another road weekend coming up mm -hmm. and another challenging two opponents in the Big Ten season, but yeah. what is it going to be like going on the road and what do these two teams bring to the table and challenge your team? Well, they're both very good teams and, uh, you know, Wisconsin and Minnesota all, you know, they have uh, well-respected programs that have been great for years, years and years. And uh, so, uh, you know, first we have to look at Wisconsin and uh, they're a team that has a lot of great talent. They've had some of the best recruiting classes in the country in the last couple couple years. And uh, and we know that they have uh, excellent talent and, and that they're very, very physical. So we need to prepare ourselves for, for Wisconsin, make sure that we're playing our game, that we continue to clean up things that I think maybe we're not so strong on right now, but uh, continue to get better in our gym. Of course, you have to do a quick flip. You've got Minnesota, number 10 in the nation, the next day, and they're they're extremely physical, led by Tori Dixon and Katherine Harms, who are you know excellent players, and and um, not to mention the Olympic coach. You know, so so we we've, we've got our work cut out for us. But you know that's what it's like in the Big Ten. So this is nothing new. Just another another weekend. Uh, you know, at the at the job. You know, and getting getting after it. So we're just preparing and doing, uh, like I said working on where we need to work on and, and uh, getting ready for some uh, some things that we need to slow down on their, on their behalf. Um, well, just like every Big Ten season, um, every weekend that you're in on the road, it's always a challenge. It's a battle no matter who you're facing. So when you go on the road, you really have to kind of make sure that you're playing your game because you can't really control the atmosphere of where you're going. And uh, Wisconsin and Minnesota are two really good teams. So we just have to go in, get our game plan, execute, work our system really well, and then move on to the next day and the next game. Another weekend in a row. I mean, I guess it's something we have to put up with, but um, it's just going to test our mental toughness at this point just because we have had tough matches the past weekend. And this weekend it's going to get even tougher, so we just have to go on with the right mindset. When we get physically tired, we have to make sure our cues are down and we're not missing anything. Well, last week, um, even when we were struggling, um, I think the fact of when we were able to stay in system and work with our pace and make it really fast, no other team can hang with us, so I know that this week Kathy is really emphasizing the fact that we're going to work our system the way we need to, and that means keeping everything up tempo and fast. And if we do that, I think that we'll be able to beat both Minnesota and Wisconsin. Two more tough big matches, I guess. Just going out there and like not being like not missing our assignments. That's something that we really have emphasized a lot this season so far. Um, so not missing our assignments. Another thing is being able to play ball is like at an aggressive level and still taking, being able to take risks. So that's another thing that we've been working on. And um, just going out and playing relentless ball, that's it.